Hey dudes, and welcome back to my freaking channel. It is the very end of the month. I definitely waited to the very last minute to post this plan with me, but for some reason my brain has just been in like this huge fog and it was really hard for me to come up with a theme. But I finally came up with one and it was inspired by none other than Home Depot. So this month's theme is going to be lamps and trust me, I know it sounds really weird, but it turned out really, really cute. So if you guys are here to plan with me, make sure you have your bullet journal ready. And if you guys are just here to relax, then get yourself a beverage and a snack and let's get on with the video. Hello, beautiful people. We are getting started with the cover page right now. I'm just going in with my Tomba Fuda nose K and outlining all of the lamps. The one that I'm using is the thicker tip one that is in the pack of three that they sell on Amazon. Ever since I took this character drawing class, I've been obsessed with this pen just because it's so much fun to draw with. The tip is just flexible enough for you to have looser lines so that your drawings have a little bit more life to them and also allow you to add different types of weights to your lines. But at the same time, it's super well balanced because it's still stiff enough for you to have a lot of control and create really thin lines and add a lot of details. Overall, I'm obsessed with this pen. Before, I used to just use the Pigma Microns to draw, but now this, this is it. This is where it's at. And I just realized that that kind of sounds like an ad, but I'm not getting sponsored. I'm not relevant. But let's end pen talk for now. We're gonna, you know, shelf that for a sec. And we're gonna go on to inspiration because the inspiration for this month is so weird. I spent so much time this month just racking my brain trying to think of what to do for November because, you know, it's fall, but it's not Thanksgiving for everyone. And I don't really feel like drawing poultry. <laughs> like everyone kept telling me to do turkey and I'm like, that's kind of morbid, you know? I don't know how I feel about that. But one day I had to go to Home Depot because I needed nails for this. Well, y'all don't need to know specifically what I'm doing with these nails, but I was doing something with them and I was there at Home Depot. And then I got lost because that's what happens at Home Depot. And I ended up in the appliance section. And you know, you have your refrigerators, you have your washer dryer units, you have your, you know, all those guys. And then you have your light fixtures and just looking at all the light fixtures there all grouped together and all their different shapes and design styles, I got really inspired to do this theme. So long story short, you never know where you're gonna find your inspiration. You know, just leave yourself open to the ideas and they'll come to you. But the second and arguably more important moral of the story is that I have a talent for talking about anything and also nothing simultaneously. But okay, okay, enough of story time. Here I am with a quote for this month and it's from Harry Potter because the end of the year is always like Harry Potter season. And I remembered that there was this quote about light and happiness and I thought that would be a really great quote for a spread about lamps. Also, I decided to move the monthly highlights section to this page. I usually have it on the trackers page, but for some reason this month, I just wasn't feeling it. I just thought that would go really well with the vibes of this month. And so instead of the lettering of the month that I usually do, I am doing this like little calendar thing with the craft paper background. And now onto the coloring. Once again, I'm using my Tombow Duo brush pens. I never do any spreads without them. They will be linked in the description box below. I will list every specific pen that I'm using down there. And the color scheme for this month is going to be these orangey yellow and pinky tones with a touch of gray. If you watched my plan with me last month where I did Pokemon and there was a lot of coloring, I did this technique where I just outlined it basically and then made it a little heavier on the side where I wanted the shadow. I've been really digging this coloring style lately because if you know me, my style is very doodle heavy and it's very busy. But I really value efficiency when I'm journaling. So I found that this way I still get that visual depth and detail, but it takes way less time. Now we are moving on to the calendar page. This month we are saying no to boxes and we're just going with these minimal lines because there are so, 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 so many lamps on this page and I just wanted to find a little bit of balance. This is my very, very sad attempt at finding balance in my art. <laughs>
my goal for this month is really to restructure and I guess really just add some more structure to my life. These past few months, I have been struggling a little bit more with my mental health. The best way that I can describe it is that it feels like I'm falling deeper and deeper into this really thick fog and I'm having a lot of trouble getting out of it. I'm having a lot of trouble feeling self-motivated, which is really weird because I am a very passionate, very self-motivated person. And I know when my anxiety is getting a little bit worse, then that starts to fade a little bit. And I'm sorry if this topic makes some people feel a little uncomfortable, if it's a little too heavy, but to me, I like talking about it really casually because I think it's really important to start normalizing talking about mental health the same way we talk about physical health. And similar to when you become a little bit more relaxed so on your exercise routine, you might start feeling a little bit more lethargic, you're not feeling so great. Same thing happens for when you become lax on your mental health care and your routines for that. And so I'm trying to get back into my routines by creating all these calendars, adding more structure. As you guys can see, I'm creating these like little tiny calendars to keep track of certain things I want to keep track of next to my big calendar because I am really focusing on organizing because I know that this works for my mental health care. And I am in no way, shape or form even remotely qualified to be giving any kind of advice, but this is what works for me. And it took me a long time to really figure that out. It took me some time to even figure out what was going on. And then a lot of self-reflection and some therapy and talking to a lot of people to figure out that this is the system where it works for me for now. And oh my god, habit trackers are back? Who am I? And the only reason she is making a comeback is because she actually serves a purpose now. Before, the habit tracker didn't really make any sense for me because all the habits that I'm actually tracking in this habit tracker was just stuff I already did. Stuff that I had a tracker for and then they became part of who I am and part of my routine so I didn't really need to track it anymore. But now that I'm trying to get my life back in order and I've fallen off of some of these habits, I am really trying to, you know, get myself back on track and hold myself accountable to these habits. So we shall see at the end of the month if I actually use this tracker and if it's actually useful for me. Also, I'd like to mention my friend Papirofi on Instagram. Her name is Sophie, but her username, I have no idea how to pronounce. I don't even know why I tried. It will be linked in the description box below, but I was inspired by her habit tracker in the making of this habit tracker. And some of you guys have probably already noticed, but I am repeating some of the designs of the lamps and lampshades because I'm just really not all that creative, you know? For every spread, I always do some research on Google and I mean, I stay off of Pinterest because I don't want to accidentally rip off someone else's style or someone else's spread. But I look up things like lamp and interesting lamp and then aesthetic lamp and this is what I come out with. You know, I'm not trying to design a whole ass lamp by myself. There are people whose jobs it is just to make lamps and I'm not even going to pretend like I know how to do that. For this month, we are adding in a new section for TV shows and movie and book reviews because I consume a whole lot of media and I love discussing it and sometimes I forget my media thoughts so I just want a place to jot them down. And yeah, I know the book section is small because I'm not even trying to front, I'm a really slow reader so there's no way I'm going to get past more than like maximum two to three books a month. And now finally moving on to the last spread of this month, which is the weekly spread. And we are just having a very simple Dutch door design. I just love these door designs because they're so easy to make. They're really cute and they make it so that I don't have to plan for next week. 
As for the doodles of this page, once again, surprise, surprise, we're just drawing some lamps. And then I'm also drawing this like paper-like reminder for all the to-do lists. If there's any awkward white space that you don't like on your spread, go ahead and just fill it in with a quick light bulb because it looks really cute and also they're really easy to draw. Thank you so, thank you so, 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 so much for watching my video. It means the whole world to me. I literally say it all the time, but I don't have the words to articulate how grateful I am because it's just, it's insane. It really is. And I just wanted to take some time to showcase some of your guys' recreations. Still blowing my mind how good these recreations are or the fact that anyone's recreating my spreads at all. You guys are absolutely killing it. You're showing me up. It's embarrassing me a little bit, guys. You're making me look bad. I'm, I'm just kidding. But if you guys want to see more videos from me, make sure to subscribe to my channel. If you guys like the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment. I love the freaking comment section. And if you guys want to see absolutely anything else from me, if that isn't enough, check out the description box below. I have my Instagram there where it has all my bullet journal, my life stuff, and also my sticker shop uh, account will be linked down there. Also my sticker shop itself will be linked down there. I had a revamp last month. It's now called something new. So definitely check that out. And I think that's it, and I'm done talking for this video because that was a lot of talking, so thanks so much, bye!